Thanks everyone for joining us for an overview of EXP for the first half hour. And then the second half hour, we're gonna talk about just some ideas and help to really help you build your EXP business. Um, but before we get started, uh, I think Isaiah is just coming on right now too. Uh, before we get started, uh, we one of our things that we like to do every week is we want to talk about our renegade movement. And uh, I'm going to pull that up and read that off to everybody. Hmm. I'll share my screen here. Oh. The, the boss is here, just in time to read it off. Julie? <clears throat> oh, she's just connecting right now. Uh, I need to get glasses, so I, I have a hard time reading. So, so anyways, uh, our renegade movement, if I, I blew it up big enough, I can see it. Um, so our team quote, and we do this, we start off every meeting with this, just to kind of give, give get everyone motivated. And, you know, really the rene, what is a renegade? It's really a movement. It's a movement of, of agents, EXP agents that are, have joined together. And you can see some of our teams, we have like a modern age of blueprint, which is where we do events every Tuesday. We have the Lux group. We have Lang Estates in Michigan. We have the Brown team. Uh, in Missouri, we have RHA International, the J Group in Arizona, Paul Conti Real Estate Group uh, in Naples, Florida, Nicole Elizabeth Real Estate Team here in Michigan. And, and one of the goals is we always want to inspire each other uh, and, and all work together, um, you know, really as and, and really be renegades. So, so our quote is, here's to the renegades, the ones who think different, the ones who are not afraid to take on a challenge. Some call us instigators, the round peg in the square hole. The ones who see us as they should be, not as they are. A renegade is not afraid just going with the flow. They have no respect for people willing to accept average. You can think they're crazy, you can doubt them, and you can be jealous of them. But what you can't do is stop them because they make the economy and everything around them move. They make other people believe in themselves for the great accomplishments that defy the odds. And while some might call them renegades or rebels, advance, advancement would not exist without them because people are willing to put it on the line because people who are willing to put it on the line are the ones that bring real change. And uh, you know, that motivates me every time that I read it. And uh, um, that, that's, kind of, that's kind of our motto. And that's what we're trying to build here with this renegade movement. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I got a story of somebody who kind of represents, um, you know, that mindset. Um, part of that mindset are people that are willing to step out of their comfort zone. Is that right if I share a story really quickly? Absolutely. So um, Audrey Kuhn is, uh, she is a newer uh, with it, being licensed. She's also, she's an admin part-time for me and then uh, does, still goes out on listing appointments. And uh, she had a scenario that she had never been in. It was a higher end property. And um, she really, you know, she, the, the person, her team leader, Bobby Gall, who normally goes with her, was not available to go. And um, instead of like backing down from it or getting nervous, she just tackled it head on. And even though it was kind of a luxury property, um, she came back from, uh, she came back from, uh, that presentation that she did. And she's like, I totally botched it. There's no way I'm getting it. And she just felt so uncomfortable. Like, and I go, I go, girl, that's what a renegade is. You, you step out and you made it happen, even though you feel uncomfortable doing it. You didn't make an excuse. You, you, you just went out and got it. And, and she, and I go, no matter what happens, you had a victory there because you didn't let your fears overcome, um, you know, over, overcome you. And uh, she goes, I, I really appreciate that. And she kind of got settled down. But what she did really well is she followed up incessantly with this person. And just yesterday she called me and she says, this lady 
this lady that I thought I had no shot with, you know, called me out of the blue. Her son is now in a tough situation going to the hospital and she has to make some moves. And be, she said that because I was so insistent on following up with her, she wants to give me a chance. So awesome. she's not the most experienced person. She's not the most qualified person. She wasn't the most polished person. She didn't have the perfect scenario presentation, but she, she showed that she cared. She followed up. And does it work out that way every time? Absolutely not. It doesn't, right? But it's a good, I just thought it was a great example of, of what we define as a renegade, right? I love it. I love it. I want to, I want to pick on uh, Julie for one second. And, and I remember specifically one of the first, one of your first big transactions, it was in our old subdivision. And I remember specifically uh, you were competing against some top agent that uh, did like 20, $30 million a year. And uh, you remember that the Sklut family? And uh, what did you say to the, to them to get the deal? No, I was, I was new. I was my first year. Yeah. It you was know? your first year. Yeah. And they knew that. Um, but I basically just told them that I was just going to outwork anybody. Like I had just a bigger drive. I mean, I knew them first of all, but it wasn't a guarantee. I think it helped um, their son happened to be there and he had just gotten started with his law, uh, law practice or getting involved in that. I'm not sure if he had his own practice or just getting started, started out as an attorney and he was sitting in on it too. And I think, I think that kind of helped, but I basically just said I was going to outwork anybody else and, you know, just kind of, I, I guess I kind of begged for a shot, you know, and you kind of have to do that. You have to humble yourself and just do it. And then I, I, I love how you said specifically, cause you don't remember exactly, but that, but you specifically said that I, you know, I'm going to be the one that's going to do the marketing. I'm going to outwork anyone yeah. else. And, uh, and I think you said, with well, the other person has a team and they'll, he probably won't even, you know, I didn't even touch any of else. it. I so. just told him what I was going to do, yep. you know, but it is but a follow-up though, too. Like, if I've been called a pest, it's a compliment. Cause if you're not going to follow up, somebody else is like, if you didn't get it, when, if you didn't get those documents signed, you, you best be following up like every day after that, you know, even if they're not completely ready. Um, yeah, it's just being persistent. So, yeah. And that's ultimately what it takes to be a renegade. I mean, being a renegade is someone that's not willing to take no for an answer. And that's going to keep, I mean, obviously you don't want to go to the point where you get a restraining order against you. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we want to be relentless. We want to be, you know, the ones that really make change. And, and I mean, especially as this market is tightening up, uh, we just need to outwork anyone and everyone else. And that's like, like I came back home from Vegas and I was freaking fired up. Like I, I, I like, you know, Isaiah and I got to spend some quality time together. We, we really mastermind. We talked about like building this kick-ass group of agents from across the country that are all willing to put it all on the line to be successful. And I, I couldn't be more fired up to be, you know, working with everyone that's a part of our group. And I want to, I want there to be a thousand agents in our group by the end of next year. And you have my vow to help any and every one of you uh, to help make that happen. So let's, uh, let's learn about, EXP. So, I mean, that's, that's why we're here. Um, so, uh, EXP wouldn't be EXP without Glenn Sanford, the founder. Uh, we he started just the first part of this meeting. Sorry. The first part's EXP. And then we've got a little training at the end. Is that correct? I just want to make sure I correct. Got so the first half hour, we're going to just give the EXP presentation of why, why <clears throat> am I so fired up? And, and, and not only, just EXP, but why our renegade movement? I mean, there's there's other EXP groups, but that uh, but we're here because of our renegade movement and what we're doing to 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 not only build but to help everyone link arms and grow and build us together. So if Glenn Sanford, he's a genius. It might have been by accident. Who knows? but he created the absolute perfect model. Uh, he was a Keller Williams agent. Rumor has it, he went up to Gary Keller and said, you're doing it wrong. You need to switch. Uh, you need to pay agents on, on revenue, not profit. 
and um, you will be able to build a much more sustainable business and company. Uh, Gary said, I'm fine the way I am. And he left in the worst possible market. If anyone knows what it was like in 2009, it was vultures and foreclosures and it was it was gray skies out there and that's when he started and 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 a lot of times in business that's the best time to start is when you have adversity when things are bad and uh he had slow growth for the first three or four years uh but then um uh you know he in 2013 he was smart enough to find a uh over-the-counter company and he bought that company and became public. So he kind of, you know, smart businessmen make smart decisions. And he was able to find an over the uh, counter company and kind of under the radar become public. And, you know, it's a little trick because it's, it's hard to get listed on even on over the counter. And so he bought this, I don't even know what type of company it was, but turned it into his EXP world holdings. Uh, and then you could see, uh, you know, in, 2015, um, he, he launched agent equity programs, which, which allowed uh, agents to earn stock in the company. Uh, then he also launched the ICON program, which is a program that if an agent closes 20 additional transactions after they cap, uh, they will get their entire cap back in the form of stock. And he did that for one reason. He did that so he, can, he could attract top quality agents. So this isn't just about this, you know, a lot of times people say, oh, EXP is just a recruiting company. That's the furthest thing from the truth. It's a company that empowers agents to be successful by giving them equity and allowing them to, uh, um, to, to actually make revenue share as well. So 2016, he tripled his agent count in one single year. 2017, 6,000 agents. By 2018, um, the excitement of going on the NASDAQ. So he built a legitimate company, went on the NASDAQ in 2018, opened in all 50 states. Uh, 2019, 25,000 agents, uh, 21, eight countries, um, 67,000 agents. And now in 2022, they need to update this slide. There's 86,000 agents in 30 countries and growing. Uh, how did it get that way? Well, it's because of their core values. So these are the core values of EXP. It's community, it's fun. You know, the company's agile. They don't have all the brick and mortar like all these other companies have and they could move on a dime. They could change directions. They could, they don't have all that top heavy overhead that most companies have. Uh, innovation, integrity, service, sustainability, collaboration, transparency. I'm gonna go back to trans, to go back to collaboration for one second. This company is freaking amazing because they have top, top talent from across the country that, that are willing to train, coach, lead, do all these things for free because guess what? We're all owners in this fantastic company. And uh, it is, it's a blessing. I mean, it really is a blessing. Let's talk about our business model. Uh, innovation is always happening. I mean, who would have thought that Blockbuster would have gone out of business back 10 years ago? And it's funny because the story is Netflix, when they were a fledgling company, they went to Blockbuster and said, hey, we have this, this idea. They just wanted to sell the Blockbuster. That's all they wanted. They wanted to create this thing and say, here, Blockbuster, buy it. And Blockbuster was like, no, we're the 800 pound gorilla. Um, your your model will never take off. Well, look what happened. Uh, I think the last blockbuster was in Bend, Oregon. It closed a couple of years ago. Circuit City, uh, Amazon just crushed them. Absolutely crushed almost all of those types of companies. Uh, traditional brokerages and EXP. So you know we're not saying that EXP is going to put everyone out of business, but there's a lot of dinosaur platforms out there that really. Um, that really they're so top heavy and so franchise heavy and so corporate and regional heavy that in this market right now, I mean, if, if, if a lot of normal agents are slow, think about how slow these, these franchises are and the regional franchises are, et cetera. I mean, 
our local, one of our local uh, Kelly Williams offices, it's taking two and a half weeks to get paid. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you that's happening right now? Uh, one brokerage, not a franchise. So a typical franchise is costly overhead. It's locally confined, inconsistent growth incentives, limited technology and support. So if you, if you miss their Tuesday meeting, you're screwed. You got to wait till next week's meeting. Uh, they'll hire some coach for thousands of dollars to come in and coach three weeks. And then you got to wait another quarter for something to happen. Uh, EXP is completely different. You know, there's powerful equity opportunities. You know, uh, there's a cloud, cloud campus environment, real-time support. I mean, you know, and I'll get to that slide in a few, but they use Facebook Mark or Facebook uh, Workplace, which is just like Facebook Messenger. And if you need anything, you just, there's, there's a group for everything. You can message the state broker, you can message the referral network, you can message people in, you know, and you'll get responses immediately. 50 hours of live training a week. Uh, it's mind blowing. If you want to know about KB Core, there's KB Core 101, 102, 202. You know, there's nonstop training. How to build squeeze pages, how, you know, interviews from icon agents. Like every single thing you can think of is there at your fingertips to help you. And then the beautiful thing about our Renegade group is not only do you get that, but you get all of the other expertise that we provide on top of that, such as, you know, we do an accountability call every morning at 845 in the morning. We do the modern age of blueprint every Tuesday at 11 o'clock. And those are great ways to, to, to get your agents that you're, that are thinking about joining and coming to join our group. Just plug them in, plug them into the 845 meeting, get them to a modern agent blueprint. All those things are there as bonuses to really help you be successful. Uh, value proposition of EXP, compensation, community, and cloud-based. Uh, I'm going to go into more details of the compensation, but it's a, there's no franchise fee. That's a big deal. Uh, you know, Todd's on the, the call right now, and he was a diamond Remax, and uh, he just took the money that he saved from paying a franchise fee and bought stock. And we'll get to that slide in a little bit where you can buy stock at a 10% discount up to 5% of your commission. And he's been able to save hundreds of thousands of dollars, which would have been franchise fees to Remax. You know, not saying that Remax is a bad company, but EXP is a better company because it allowed him to, to, to build a retirement plan for his family. Uh, community, um, unlimited collaboration. They have the ICON program. There's, there's a diverse comp company-wide diverse programs. There's, uh, there's all different groups available, women's groups. There's, there's Christian groups. There's like a prayer session in the, in the world. There's so many things you would never even think of that are available at your fingertips. And then cloud-based. I mean, it's, you know, in two, and when COVID hit, all these other brokerages were freaking out, trying to figure out how to use Zoom. EXP already had a down pat. They had already been doing it for four years. And, uh, uh, and, and during COVID, there was a whole series that was started. It was called We Were Built For This. And it was great. And Brent Gove and some of the leaders would get on and talk about that. And, and uh, it was really a, a great series. And it really helped us stand out from, from really any other company. And really between when COVID hit to now is EXP has blown up to, like I said, 86,000 agents. Uh, cloud campus environment, there's no desk fees. You can work from anywhere. There's no brick and mortar costs. No expensive leases for the companies. I mean, we do have a number of mega teams like the Brown team in Missouri, Kansas City area. Uh, they do. They got approved uh, uh, to have a branch location, which which you need to have an associate broker on staff, and you need to do X number of transactions. And so there are exceptions to the rule, but they're paying for that out of their own pocket. It's not being paid by EXP, but it's a great way for them to be able to grow and build a network of local agents in their community. Uh, compensation, so let's talk about the compensation model. Uh, it's really the same for everyone. It's an 80-20 split, $16,000 cap. And after you pay in 16,000, which is about 2.7 million, if you're collecting 3%, it's, you know, uh, in Michigan, it's probably like nine or 10 transactions you get 100% up until the next uh, calendar year um, or your cap year from when you started. 
Um, the cost to start, it's $149 setup fee, and it's $85 a month for the cloud brokerage fee. And that includes KV Core, which is state-of-the-art transaction, which is state-of-the-art IDX, uh, CRM, and you also get SkySlope, which is uh, used to help you manage all of your transactions. Uh, and it's a great system because the state broker uh, has gets a gets a copy and has access to that, and they'll be be there to review all of your files to make sure you're compliant. And so, as far as trans as far as fees transaction fees go, uh, there's a twenty five dollar transaction review fee that the state broker charges, and that's and that and you put your file in SkySlope, and then then they have access and they review the file. Um, so they're always reviewing every one of your files and they're up to date and, and in touch with you and your business. And then there's a $40 risk management fee, which is the E&O insurance. And once you've paid $500 in, which is about 12 transactions, that goes away and you're just left with the $25 uh, transaction review fee. One of the cool things is, is they don't, uh, eXp does not charge an admin or compliance fee. So you, you are free to charge that 395 fee or 495 fee and you will be able to get that entire amount back to you. Uh, and so that's a big deal because a lot of times you have a place that's like, oh, you know, our cap is only $10,000, but they charge a 395 or 495 compliance fee that they keep with the XP. They don't, you know, that's all yours. Obviously less the $25 transaction review fee and the $40 risk management. But if you're charging $400, you're basically getting $350 of that. And if you're doing 20 transactions a year, what's 350 times 20? That's what, seven, about $7,000. So your cap isn't $16,000, it's really $9,000. So that's a, that's a huge difference that most people miss and don't even understand. Uh, revenue share plan. So uh, uh, this is a plan. It's almost like a referral plan. Uh, it allows agents to benefit for supporting and bringing other agents into the company. And um, it was one of the things that, that motivated my wife and I to make the switch to EXP. And I'll tell the story real quick is we, uh, my wife was a newer agent at Keller Williams and the broker had some fancy party at her million dollar, $2 million lake house that she just bought. And she was talking about, I have, you know, oh, just ignore this furniture. All my new furniture is on back order. And I was like, you know, and then my earlier that day, my wife was complaining how she was in an office with six other people and they were crammed like sardines and she couldn't even hear herself think because anytime someone else talked and, and the light bulb went off like that night after that party, I'm like, you know, there's, there needs to be something out there that, that that's better. And I swear that a, a month or two later is when uh, a friend of mine called me and told me about eXp and how uh, you're the owner of your own company. Um, you basically can build your own business however you want. And, and, and the revenue share was a big motivating factor for me and why I decided to make the move. Um, so uh, let, me, let me go into that in more detail. So you can make, so if I bring, if I sponsor Bill, uh, into the company and he closes a transaction, I can make up to three and a half percent of his gross commission. So it, it's it's nothing, you know, it's nothing out of his pocket more than he would have paid to the corporate side. So when we're talking 80-20 split, I get paid a percentage out of the 20% that would normally go to the company. So so think about that. So let's 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 take a step back. So a lot of times someone would say, oh, you know, I've heard about EXP. It's just some pyramid scheme. It's the furthest thing from that. It's a pyramid scheme is when you're, you, you buy a can of shake that's $40 that you can get at Costco at $20. And it's just artificially marked up. With this model, you're still, it's no different. The, the agent is paying their 20% into corporate, but instead of corporate keeping it all and buying their $2 million house, like my example before, they're distributing that money back to the agents that are responsible for bringing you into the business. And, and that's why EXP is going to go to a half million of agents in the next five years because, because they have tens of thousands of cheerleaders that, that understand this and it's changing people's lives on a daily basis. 
So you guys need to remember that. So, so, uh, so, so I, I sponsor Bill. He closes the transaction. Let's use easy math. It's a ten thousand dollar commission. I can make up to three and a half. I'd make three and a half percent of the gross commission. So, next the next month on the twenty first of the month, I'm going to get three hundred and fifty dollars. Just just for you know sponsoring him and mentoring him and helping him. And so you can imagine how, you know, and then once he caps, uh, then I don't make anything off of him until the next, his next capping year. So the maximum I would be able to make would be $2,800. So now think about this. So, so, so think about how, if you're able to find five productive agents that, you know, can cap, which is 2.7 million. I mean, and you get paid whether they cap or not, but you, if you wanted to max out uh, the pay scale, so somebody get their calculator out. If I was able to bring in five agents, if I find found five bill wraps, and they, you know, I don't know, do you cap bill? I'm just joking. I know you're a kick-ass agent. <laughs> uh, uh, so if I were to bring in five bills that capped, that's twenty-eight hundred dollars a year times five. Uh, so that's that alone will pay your mortgage, it'll pay your car payments, it'll pay your insurance. That alone is life changing. And even if, and there's no race, let's say it took me three years to do that. That's okay. I'm still generating that extra revenue that, so so then you look at, let's take another step back. Let's, let's go back to that $16,000 cap again. And Remember that if you if you if you do 20 transactions a year, you're already knocking six seven grand off in, in uh, compliance fees that you get to keep. So that's now that's nine thousand dollars is what your cap truly is. But then if you're making 2,800 times five a year, guess what? EXP is paying you to be with their company. I'll take that deal every day of the week, and that's what really motivated me to be a part of this company. So tier two, so let's just say that only two of those five people sponsored someone. Uh, one person sponsored one person, the other person sponsored two people. Uh, and in tier two, you get paid up to $3,200 total. So that's 3,200 times three. Um, that's your $2,500 a month. And I always talk about, like I always say, you know, how can you make an additional $25 a month of passive income? It's a lot easier to do that than find rental properties and manage them and do the, all the other stuff that's involved with it. So here's the pay, here's the scales of the EXP. It's 2,800 level one, 3,200 level two, 2,000 level three, and it goes all the way to, to level seven. And I'm not gonna go into all the details of it because I always just focus on your first three levels. You, you, you find five and you help them find a couple and then things just kind of grow from there. Um, because if you're so focused on bringing in 40 agents, then you're, you're not gonna, you know, that's really not ultimately what the company is about. The company is really about growing and duplicating. And uh, I want everyone to just focus on finding five good agents over the next year and helping them find two or three agents. And you're gonna build a rock solid foundation that will last a lifetime. Uh, equity opportunities. This is another amazing thing. And I talked about Todd and, and how he uh, was with Remax and, and he's a consistent 20 to $30 million producer. And he, you know, uh, number one, he's an icon agent, which I'll talk about. And then he also would take 5% of his uh, commission and buy stock at a 10% discount. And he's been able to amass a a, a nice little nest egg for retirement because of that. And it's something that it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. So, so let's first talk about the sustainable equity plans. So every year that every time you close your first transaction each year, EXP gives you shares of stock. Uh, guess what happens when you cap, which is your 2.7 million in sales. EXP gives you shares of stock. When I, if I sponsor Bill and Bill closes his first transaction, the next month, I'm going to get $400 of EXP stock. Mm. I mean, just for just for referring them and bringing them into the, this company, it's amazing. And that's uh, every year. That's every year. Yep. So then we're talking about the Icon Awards. So so EXP wants top producers, and they're getting so many top producers. It's crazy because mm. it's free. It's free for them. So when you cap and you do 20 additional transactions. EXP is going to give you your entire cap back in the form of stock. 
Uh, and specifically, there are some cultural cultural requirements that are needed, but uh, so they're going to give you eight thousand dollars right away, and they're going to give you two thousand to go to the uh, convention and their their shareholders convention, and two thousand to go to their um, their an, their annual convention. So they do a shareholders and annual annual convention a year, and then they're going to give you the rest for you know being a mentor or giving putting a presentation on in the EXP world and. And I think that you kind of owe that to them because they're bending over backwards to giving you that money. And in return, you need to give back as well. And that's that's another way that you have top, top talent that are teaching you, um, you know, that are that are teaching you in the world. Uh, let's see here. And so, oh, and then um, you can buy, let's go to that commission. It's a $10,000 commission. Uh, the mm -hmm. I always use that example for easy math. EXP will allow you to buy up to 5% of that commission, you can buy 5% of stock at a 10% discount. So on a $10,000 commission, you can buy up to $500 worth of stock at a 10% discount. So let's just say that the, the stock trading at $10 a share, you're getting $500 worth at $9 a share. I'll take that all day long. That's just, you know, that's just a thank you for believing in their company. Healthcare, EXP has awesome healthcare plans um, you just set up a meeting with them and they'll give you a quote and, you know, most companies don't, don't offer that, but they have a really good healthcare, uh, uh program with Clearwater benefits, uh, cloud-based company. So you can run your whole business from the cloud. So you can join a meeting, go anywhere. Um, you can meet with agents anywhere in the EXP world. Obviously you can do it on zoom too, but I remember I was talking to an agent and I said, meet me in the EXP world. I gave him a free pass and there's actually a, in the world, there was like a speedboat. And I said, meet me on the speedboat. And we went and took the speedboat to a pirate ship. I know it sounds kind of corny, but uh, we actually had a meeting on the pirate ship in the middle of the EXP world. And when he saw how cool it was, that kind of sold him into to switching and joining us. Um, Cloud-based tools, so EXP Enterprise. So that's where you can, you have a whole marketing center. You can do flyers, you can do postcards, uh, you can uh, order signs. All that stuff is in the EXP Enterprise. You can check on your stock. There's, uh, you can um, uh, give someone a guest pass to the EXP world. There's so many things at your fingertips in Enterprise. Uh, there's transaction management. There's the community uh, uh, workplace community um, platform. CRM and lead generation, live training and resource. I just realized that the next slides are gonna go into more detail. So enterprise, so here we go. So uh, this is where you can access, uh, you know, EXP World Holdings. You can get information on the parent company. You can uh, be a part of the EXP Extend a Hand. Uh, you can uh, get leads through making it rain, especially in areas where there's more, um, it's Google, Google style ads, uh, and it's really good for areas where people want to move to. So like, I, I don't think that, that in Michigan, it's been as successful as, as in Florida, the Carolinas, California, the, the places that are more attractive, that I think that making it rain works better in those, in those areas. But anyways, so there's all this access to everything from your enterprise platform. Transaction management, Skyslope is one of the top transaction management platforms out there. Uh, you can easily review your transaction from any device. You can sign documents digitally. Uh, you can run your business with top security. Uh, community platform. So this is uh, Facebook uh, uh, Workplace. Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I love like doing my stuff on Messenger. Like uh, I'm on Facebook all the time and I send Facebook Messenger messages to everyone and do group texts or group messengers and all that stuff. That's, that's, uh, EXP has their own version of that from Facebook called uh, Workplace. And you can tag, you can message the uh, state broker. There's hundreds and hundreds of different groups. There's EXP Water Cooler. There's EXP Christian Network. There's like anything you think of, you know, there's, there's groups for that you can be a part of and you get notified anytime you know, there's like, if you want to go to an event and you need a ticket, there's like all groups for all that stuff. And then the referral, their national referral program is in, is in uh, workplace as well. So anyone, you know, because it's one national brokerage, uh, the referrals flow freely through to agents all across the country. And a number of our agents have gotten 
dozens of referrals every year by being a part of that network as well. Uh, KV Core. So uh, state-of-the-art system, IDX feed built in. Uh, it's included in, in, your, in your $85 a month. Um, it's, just, it's just a really good system to help you, uh, help you build your business. Live training. There's training on everything you can think of from icon agents, from top leaders from across the country. Uh, and they talk about sales and listings, lead generation, social media, CRM and technology tools. And you can tap into archive of recorded sessions as well. You don't have to be there live. Everything's recorded. Uh, resource guide. So there's a resource guide you can go and plug in and you can get answers, you know, um, you can get answers to most of your questions from this resource guys as well. Um, EXP is all about diversity. There's the Asian network, black EXP network, Latino network. There's the EXP pride network, power girls and more. So we're not an exclusive company. We're inclusive. Everyone's welcome. Uh, EXP life. So there's, you know, a uh, website that just talks about, you know, articles that, that people that were featured of EXP, just top agents from across the country. And uh, it's, it's pretty nice. And then the inter international collaboration. So uh, we have, um, somebody is asking a chat here. Um, uh, that was just me making a comment. No, I don't okay. worry. Yeah. So uh, interact with top professionals from the country. Um, you can see, um, you can build a worldwide business, not, I mean, like Brent, Brent Gove was on the other day and he sponsored some agents in Italy. And guess what? He did a trip to Italy and he was able to write the whole trip off because mm -hmm. he met with those, uh, those agents. So these are the countries that are, they're in and they continue to explode. Um, and so, uh, join the team that's breaking down the boundaries, you know, Everyone's saying, you know, EXP's the amazing model, uh, poise beyond success. Uh, EXP is attempting to disrupt the real estate status quo. Uh, EXP is the Amazon of real estate. Um, I mean, it's really just a great, great platform. And, um, you know, if, if somebody brought you to this call today, you know, I encourage you to, um, you know, really seriously consider uh, this groundbreaking company. So does anybody have any questions about the presentation? Not everyone all at once, please. I, how about the health insurance? I don't, you know, how many people, I'm just curious, are taking advantage of the health insurance? Um, does anybody have any insight on that? Uh, it is a... Um, it is one of those, there's, there's two, they, they, you can get traditional insurance, but the, the really inexpensive one is kind of the, it's similar to like, it's like a health share account. Got it. Uh, and uh, if you do not have a pre-existing condition, it's a highly recommended route to go. That's very inexpensive and you get good coverage. Pre-existing conditions are, make it a little bit more difficult, but uh, I really highly recommend it. Uh, for anyone who does not have a pre-existing condition. I will say it's cheaper than, you know, just getting it off the, off the streets or somebody contacting you with their, so it's, it's, it's much less expensive and they're very professional about how uh, they'll counsel you on, on what you need. And so right. it's really, it's a great program. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you, Lee. Um, the most common objection I get usually from people is like, well, it's all about recruiting and I care about my buyers and sellers and I want to focus on selling houses, not recruiting people. Hmm. I got some good language for that one. That's one of my favorites. I would love to hear it. Awesome. Yeah, we totally respect that and understand that. And uh, some teams, some teams do give off, you know, that vibe um, in, in EXP. What you do is you don't ever want to deny it. Like, or, or like, just like you don't like just or like pretend like it's not potentially a real thing uh, and break rapport with them. 
Um, so like what, what happens a lot of times we'll kind of like go, go after the objection without like showing empathy or, or like showing, um, that there might be some legitimacy, anything legitimate to it to say. So that's why I always like to start off by saying like, Hey, uh, I, I totally get that. There are some, there are some people that maybe that's their motive. Um, but one of the things that I love about the team that I'm part of, it's 100% not just about introducing to exp uh, we have a full-blown training system and support system that's about increasing productivity and what's greatest what's the greatest about it when you do the numbers between the split the stock options and all the other benefits you actually make you actually end up doing better off by being a part of their program even if it's just buying and selling so let me ask you if you were to able to get a if you if, if you were able to get a really good backup offer and the numbers made sense, would you op be open-minded to at least a conversation outside of recruiting? I love that. So it's, uh, and basically what it is, is basically showing empathy, telling them a story to help them, you know, like giving them a response, which in your, your personal story or your team story or what your experience has been. And then basically just, just kind of like sidestepping that objection and say, hey, look, outside of that, if the numbers made sense, the culture fit, and you could see a way to make, you know, make more money, less time with less hassle. I mean, that'd be a conversation to at least entertain, right? Love that. So, <clears throat> so like, and, and one of the things that I train a lot on um, and is it, it's the same psychologies when we're dealing with like a, a seller, right? What do they want? What are they, what are they dealing with? They want to make the most amount of money on the property. They want to do it in the least amount of time with, with the minimum hassle. Right. And if you think about our motives, you know, like as entrepreneurs, that's what we're always looking for too. We're looking to streamline and figure out how we can maximize our pro our growth, our, our revenue, you know, and do it without, you know, with the least amount of friction as possible. Uh, and and save time doing that. And that's what I love because outside of recruiting, even though that's a tremendous opportunity, that's the model mm -hmm. that EXP has put together. Is they they put everything together for a top producing agent or somebody who wants to become a top producing agent. And then how I'd like to communicate it is like the rev share is a sprinkle on the top, right? Like it's it's icing on the cake. Now for some, right? They just like any company, they have different, um, and this is how I like to communicate it too. Some agents have different objectives. There are, they've already been a top producer. Now they're trying to grow their team. Now they're trying to, or, or they're focused on agent attraction, or that's just their, their goal is agent attraction. And Hey, that's okay too. Right. Yeah. You, yeah so, definitely. Absolutely. So hopefully that helps. Yeah, that did help. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm gl so glad you brought that up because this is, we, we should have, you know, this is part of this call to have these dialogue, this dialogue of some things that we're running into so we can all sharpen each other's acts. So thank you for asking that question. Yeah, for sure. I have this one guy in mind, um, like he is a really great person in general. And it's funny, like the first time that we met, I think that he was trying to recruit me and I was trying to recruit him. Now we're doing a deal together and we've been forming this relationship since like August and he, we just have a really, really good rapport belt. So it's kind of like our inside joke now that he's not leaving and I'm definitely not leaving. <laughs> I actually invited him to cocktails for closers tonight. So I'm hoping that he'll show up, but he's, he told me right off the bat that he's already been, you know, lots of people have tried to recruit him. Like he said, I think upwards of 10 different EXP have people have come at him. But but what you need to tell him is like, you just need to see how we're different from them. So that that's one of the things you need to, because, you know, like I can't, like I always think about Jen Kuzdale. So she's, she's not on uh, today, but she was getting recruited by two other EXP groups. And it wasn't until we got her into our daily accountability call in the modern age of blueprint that she was just, and once you get to know someone and get to learn their culture, um, that was what pushed her to say, oh my gosh, what was I even thinking about considering this other group? Because you guys provide so much extra value, support, and all these other things 
that they they could never provide. And then no more than two months after she joined, the person that was going to was trying to sponsor her ended up leaving EXP altogether. So it showed you ultimately their commitment to to what they were doing. And then that just solidified her decision that she made the right decision to join, you know, our renegade group. For sure. Yeah. And this guy, he's a broker himself and he's got a decent size. I mean, it's a small team, uh, but he's expressed to me some things, pain points where like, you know, he's struggling to get his people under him to work through the leads that he's got and he's spending money and all of this stuff. So, um, so yeah. Anne, when, when you have that conversation with him and present, you know, the first time, um, hey, this is this is where I think you would really benefit and value and, and share some of the things about EXP. There, there's some training that we can do together as a group on how to actually do that most effectively. <clears throat> but then you always end that conversation with what's next. And you can have three options available. You know, typically what I do next with uh, folks are um, we either do this. Um, we either meet with one of my partners and let's have a conversation or um, I share with you some additional information, like you can get a tour of the world and say, I'd like to take you into the world with the XP and show you where we meet our brokers and where we train and where we have events and how we build community, even though we're across the country, around the world, we're doing these things together. And you can have an, if I could, would you conversation? You know, yeah. I hear these pain points. I hear these things. You have some really great concerns. If I could set up a time with one of our most, um, with one of our top producing agents or with our top partner, would you be willing to spend 30 minutes having a conversation with them and hearing from, about their experience when they came over as a broker? And that opens up the door then to let somebody else pour into that mm -hmm. conversation. And it's yeah, I think I would like to get him in a space where he would at least like, you know, be able to talk with Lee or Julie or something. That's, I'm hoping that he'll come to the cocktails for closers tonight. He said maybe to my invite. So <laughs> the oh, thing is, is he, he's like so sold on his brokerage that I think that's like the biggest thing to overcome. He's with Next Home Evolution and he loves it there. Um, but as, a, as an independent broker though, he's got pain points. Sure. So here, here, here's the site. I'm sorry to cut you off. Uh, uh, here's the site that it's live, but I still think that we just got to double check one more time for typos, et cetera. But so, so this is our renegade group. So, so, you know, and, and it's, you know, uh, and Todd, I need your logo too. So I want to have team Telefero in there as, as, part, as one of the logos and, and, and so we're all, all our groups are working together. There's Lux group, there's the Brown team, there's, there's all of our groups are, are working together and we're forming like the renegades. And, and like I said, I read off that mission statement in the beginning. And, and so, and so th this is what we're providing on top of everything else. Um, so, uh, you know, uncover sales secrets about autom automation, generating the sales funnel to fill your calendar with appointments. A deep psychology of sales. So this, these are all the things that that Isaiah's coaches. So you see, there's still a couple of small typos here. Uh, daily accountability call, live prospecting and role play, advanced sales and marketing training. Um, so and then there's a bunch of testimonials from some of our agents, and then uh, there's a little videos of why join us. Your 30 days with us, a typical week with us. You know, accountability. Um, no franchise fee. So all these different videos are here. Uh, and then, I mean, it just goes down and uh, there's more success stories and videos and more stuff. Like we did one uh, re realtor's retirement party. When's the last time uh, hmm. you went to a realtor's retirement party? And, you know, how's your listing presentation? And, and so, so this is a really, really good site. There's still a couple small pieces that we need to finalize, but then, Isaiah's video, like I, I was really moved, Isaiah, and I, I want, I'm glad that you're here, on here. So when you click on schedule the one one on one meeting, Isaiah's video is is amazing. Like I was just like blown away, and um, it, you guys just need to 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 watch it. And he was just so genuine and so detailed, uh, and and I just love it. And and utilize. We're going to utilize this to help you guys build. Can you um, drop the link to the site? I don't have this yet. 
No, this is not. There's still a couple. Uh, there's still a couple typos and stuff. So just use it internally right now. Give us 24 uh, hours. Um, yeah. And then Lee, anything you and Julie see, just I'll we'll get on the marketing team to get it done ASAP. But uh, and then we're getting to the point where we're going to. Uh, it's going to take a. a Probably by the first of the year, we'll have sites that will be cloned for you guys to have directly. We're just going to need to uh, to figure that out right now. How it'll work, guys, is you'll be able to click a button at the bottom of the page or somewhere on the page. And what it'll do is it'll automatically clone it and create um, and create a version of it for your, you know, for yourself. So that way, when you're driving traffic to it, you know, like, <clears throat> it's kind of like you you know that the traffic's coming from you so um we, we should have that done by the first of the year and isaiah knows what he's talking about and what he's doing because he's won how many click funnel awards have you won uh so i got three of them two of them coming on the way but i got yeah so yeah. so that's like the highest honor for a i mean so he he is a click funnel master and he you know this is built in that program and uh it's designed for maximum, you know, conversion rate. Yep. Awesome. I got a train, another training I have to hop on to. Um, thanks Lee for uh, the presentation. And oh, thank you. We'll, we'll see everybody soon. All right, Isaiah, we'll see you. Does anybody have any questions at all? Now's your chance. Bill, you have anything to add? Um, it's so there's so many things and I'm actually I've got to be on the next call with Isaiah in about a minute okay um so as as we go through there's there's always um conversation language and scripting you around these and one of the things that just it pops out because I've worked for other franchises um I've been independent and when you're doing the franchises they take anywhere in the neighborhood of three percent to six percent of your um, gross commission check once uh, everything's split and they're awarding that to you. That's three to six percent of your income that's going to them to support their services and everything else and their their overhead and their brick and mortar. You name it. And so they're actually taking that out of the extra work of the agents. Where when you look at EXP, they have softened those costs. They've lowered their overhead because they are a virtual company. They don't have um, a headquarters building. Everybody works virtually. And uh, any of their overhead and expenses comes out of their earnings as a company, not out of ours as an agent. And it's a really great proposition when you look at that three to six percent coming to XP and being able to then divert that money back into something. I mean, there's so many ways you can spend it, but I actually take the five percent option on all the uh, um, closings. And I purchase stock with that and um, they go to the market at the end of the month of your closing month and they will purchase that at that 10% discount. So not only am I reinvesting what I was paying out to somebody else on just a royalty fee, I'm actually getting ownership, more ownership in the company. I'm getting it at a 10% discount to the market and there's going to be growth of that over time. Um, a year ago, and I know the market cap's got to be different than this now, a year ago, we were a $9 billion market cap company, $9 billion with zero. Ah. And that just Amazing. speaks to the strength of the company and, and what that um, market value is going to do. The other thing that's really fun, and you can make a joke about this, there's several things I started kind of just flushing out a little bit for fun. But when somebody says, uh, talks about the pyramid, uh, hey, that's just a pyramid scheme. I, I always remind them we're a real estate company. That's what we do. We we are realtors who've come together and created real estate and we do real estate transactions. As a matter of fact, we're one of the highest transacting companies in the world right now um, and growing. Uh, but the other thing is because we are a public traded company, that is a fact. And we're on the NASDAQ. Glenn has gone and rang the bell to open or close the NASDAQ several times. Um, he was just there again recently. And it's also a fact that pyramid companies are forbidden to trade on public exchanges. And so when somebody's approaching you with that whole idea of this is a, a pyramid scheme, it's like pyramid schemes, those companies, they're not even allowed to trade on the public markets. Yeah. And so there, there is no truth to that this is about compensation for collaboration. So I love it. Those are my big ones. I've got a hop.
All right, everybody. You guys, guys have an amazing you day. You too. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you.